Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source channel. In this video, we're going to look at another beat. So beats are uh, lightweight log shippers that you install on your client machine and send uh, the logs to the Elasticsearch log server. So we've seen um, file beat, metric beat, heart beat, and win log beat. So this is uh, audit beat. And my next video is about packet beat, how to capture and how to monitor your uh, network traffic flowing through your interfaces on your uh, client machines. So that will be my next video, packet beat. So with that, uh, I think I'm done with all the beats. So this one is about audit beat. So let's get started. Um, so I'm going, the, the setup for this video is I'll be running Elasticsearch and Kibana uh, as Docker containers on my Linux workstation. I've also got a CentOS virtual machine running on my Linux workstation and I'm going to show you how to install Audit Beat on uh, a CentOS machine. So you can also install Audit Beat on uh, Ubuntu machine or in any Linux machines. Uh, but I'm going to show you in CentOS, uh, but the process is going to be quite similar if you're following this on an Ubuntu machine as well. Okay, first let me start uh, the um, Elasticsearch and Kibana Docker containers. So for that, I'm going to git clone my ELK repository. I'll put a link to this GitHub repository in the uh, video description. So cloning ELK and then CD to ELK and then to Docker. So we have two Docker Compose file. The one here, docker compose.yaml, is the first one that I did, uh, which is based on version 6.5.4. And later, I did a video on how to run uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana as Docker containers using version 7.1.1 Elasticsearch. So for this video, um, I'm going to be using uh, version 7.1.1. If you want to know how to run Elasticsearch and Kibana in Docker containers, uh, please search this Elasticsearch playlist and you'll be able to find that. So first, let me move docker compose version 7.1.1 to docker compose.yaml because when you do docker compose up, docker compose down or anything, the default file it looks is docker compose.yaml. Okay, so now we have docker compose.yaml and let me start my docker service. sudo systemctl start docker. Okay, sudo systemctl status docker. Docker is running fine. So um, if you were following all my Elasticsearch videos, you would know uh, the prerequisite that we need to set a kernel parameter uh, before starting Elasticsearch. Otherwise, Elasticsearch will start and then it will exit immediately. And the kernel parameter that you want to set is sudo sysctl minus w vm dot max map count equals 262.144. So once you do that, you are good to start the Elasticsearch container. But if you want to make this persistent, if you restart your machine, uh, this setting won't be persisted. So in order to make that persistent, you need to put that in etc sysctl.conf, sysctl.conf and add this line at the end of that file, sysctl.com. So that should persist this option. All right, so I'm not going to do that. And now we can do docker compose up minus d so that's going to start docker uh, containers so docker compose ps so we have uh, elasticsearch and kibana running fine docker compose logs minus f so that's elasticsearch and kibana starting up so we need to wait for like few seconds before we can access the kibana dashboard okay let's see if we can access it now localhost colon 5601 okay so that's our kibana dashboard that's looking good and we don't have anything at the moment our elastic search is empty we have no index at all index patterns we don't have any index pattern so once we install audit beat on this centos virtual machine and start the audit beat service it should start sending the logs to our elastic search and then we can visualize it we can uh, monitor it, we can see the dashboard and so on. All right, so that's all we got to do with uh, the host machine where we've installed the Docker containers for Elasticsearch and Kibana. They're all running now fine. So now we got to install the audit beat on a CentOS VM. Okay, so for that, I'm going to uh, look at the Elasticsearch documentation, install audit beat. 
and the first one here so that's for 6.0 let's go for 7.3 that's the latest version install audit bit and install audit bit from our repository so that's you have certain advantage if you install it from a repository whenever there is an updated package you can do yum update or app get update and also you can download the uh, debian file or an rpm file directly and then install it but i always stick with uh, configuring the repository and then installing it so let's click on this one install audit bit from our repositories so if you're following this on an ubuntu machine uh, go ahead and follow these uh, uh, instructions but if i scroll further down so here is the uh, configuration for an rpm based machine like centos or rel okay so the first command is this one let's start that one so before that you need to make sure that audit d daemon is running on your machine sudo systemctl status audit d so on centos machines by default audit d is enabled and audit d is the daemon that collects all the audit logs and there's also uh, war log audit audit dot log so permission denied Yes, we have var log audit audit dot log. So audit the daemon is the one that collects uh, all the system events, audit uh, related events. So you need to make sure that audit D is running on your machine. If not, install audit D and then start the audit D service. Okay, so let's copy that and paste the first command. And now we are going to copy the yum repository configuration sudo vi etc yum dot repos dot d slash elastic dot repo and paste that command okay so we are good now so now we can install audit beat and start the audit beat service but before starting the audit beat service we need to configure it let's look at what we can do sudo yum install minus y audit beat okay so first thing is installing audit bit and then we can configure audit bit so when i say configure audit bit we need to tell it what to uh, what logs you are interested in sending to the elastic search and where to find your elastic search and kibana uh, services all right okay so we've installed audit bit if i do audit bit version so that's our audit bit version audit bit help you've got all these help commands if you want to take a look Okay, so RPM minus QC audit bit. So the configuration file that we are going to edit is etc audit bit audit bit dot yaml. sudo vi etc audit bit audit bit dot yaml. Okay, in here, so there are certain modules that are installed by default enabled. So audit D is one of the module, and we have a file integrity module. So whenever a file changes in the paths below if you want you can add your own uh, path to your directory or your or to any location that you want to monitor if it constantly looks for that particular directory so for example here it's configured to look at the bin user bin yes bin user has been an etc directory so if there are any new files created or if any existing files are updated or deleted and we will get that log uh, in the elastic search so we will see all those uh, in this demo so that's file integrity module we have also got the system module okay so there we go we've got the system module what data sets are configured are we've got the host related data sets that sends general host specific information like uh, how long the host uh, has been running what's the IP address and login user logins user logouts and system reboots uh, those kind of things are also logged packages install package updated uh, remote packages so any transactions related to software installation on your system will also be logged through audit d process socket open and closed sockets and general user information so these are coming from the system module through data sets state dot period so how often do you want to uh, how often do you want the system to send this data to uh, the Elasticsearch? So by default, it's set to 12 hours. So every 12 hours, it sends these details to the Elasticsearch. For this demo purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to one minute. Instead of 12 hours, uh, every one minute, it's going to send details about all these information uh, to Elasticsearch. 
Okay, so that's done. And the next thing we are going to do is set up the dashboard. Uh, we need to enable the dashboard, which is right here. So I'm going to uncomment this line. Set up dashboards.enabled and change this to true. And then Kibana. So where is our Kibana service running? So we need to tell Audit Beat where our Kibana service is running. So Kibana is running on my local Linux workstation. So my Linux workstation's IP address is down here, which is 192.168.1.81. So that's done. And finally, under the output section, under Elasticsearch output, I'm going to set the same thing. So where is our Elasticsearch running? So Elasticsearch is running as a Docker container on my local workstation, 192.168.1.81 port 9200 if you have installed sorry if you have enabled authentication so you can set your username and password here so that's all it's needed okay so we are done with our configuration and it's always a good practice to check if your configuration is good if you've got any syntax errors or anything sudo audit beat test config okay so our configuration looks okay the next thing we're going to check is whether this installation of audit beat can talk to the Elasticsearch server running on my local workstation sudo audit beat test output okay so it has it has found the Elasticsearch URL from the configuration file which is this one and it says URL is okay connection is okay talk to server is okay so that's the important things see if it if it can talk to the server and the version of the Elasticsearch is 7.1.1 okay so we are good now and the next command we are going to do is sudo audit beat setup so that's going to create index pattern and it's going to set up some kibana dashboards and everything and if you do sudo audit beat setup so index setup is done loading dashboards kibana must be running and reachable so we've already verified that it can talk to Elasticsearch and kibana all right so it's now setting up the dashboards, loaded all the dashboards. So once it sends the logs to the Elasticsearch, we should be able to see the dashboard on uh, Kibana. So now we are good to start the audit beat service. sudo systemctl enable audit beat. And then you can do sudo systemctl start audit beat, two separate commands, or you can just do enable minus minus now audit beat. That will enable the audit beat service as well as start the service sudo systemctl status audit beat so audit beat is running so now we should be able to find uh, the dashboard and everything in our kibana okay so i'm going to maximize the screen okay index pattern all right cool so now you can see audit beat it has got some data and if i go to discover discover audit beat Okay, so create index pattern. Let's go to discover. And there you go. So these are the uh, the logs that we got from our CentOS virtual machine. So there are uh, lots of logs here. And the more important thing is to look at the dashboard. So the dashboard link is uh, the third one on the left here. Uh, there are various dashboards that you can look at here host dashboard login package process so these are the list of data sets that we saw uh, in the audit beat configuration file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this one audit beat system overview.ecs okay so that's our dashboard okay so we can see host count is one because we have just installed audit beat on one CentOS virtual machine. So there's one host, no login events, 23 users. I'll come to that why it's 23. Maybe I should show it now. So in here, it says 23 users. So it's getting the data from etc password, sudo less etc password. So you can see here, so all these are considered as users. But the only actual valid user is this one, Vagrant, because I'm using Vagrant to provision the virtual machine. But all these, it basically looks at the user information from etc password. And if I do sudo wc minus l etc password, you have 23 entries. So that's why you're getting uh, the 23 user count. 
Okay, let's see what else we can do with the dashboard. Voice distribution, so it says we have CentOS Linux and the voice version is seven. User changes, login actions, process starts, sockets opened, sockets closed, and package count. So we have 322 packages installed on our system. Total 21 sockets, package changes. Have we installed any additional uh, package? No, we haven't. And this is just an overall system overview, but if you want, you can look at it, the individual dashboards here. So let's take a look at the hosts dashboard. So we have one host average uptime because we just started the virtual machine. It says zero uptime uh, based on the distribution. You see some graph host states because we have configured the audit B to send the data every one minute instead of 12 hours. You see uh, these details here. So it checks every minute to see whether this uh, host is alive. So green, which is the host is up. And you see the host list here. Again, we just got one host and we've got the host events. Host is up, host is up, and host is up. So we don't have much information in the hosts uh, dashboard. Let's see other dashboards, logins. Okay, login count, we don't have much left. So what we can do is I'm gonna uh, trigger some logins. So let's say enter a wrong password just to see if we can capture the login failures in the Kibana dashboard, okay. So I've logged in, I've tried to log in uh, as Vagrant user a couple of times with incorrect password. So now we should be able to see that here. Refresh. Okay, so one login event. Let's refresh. And you can see failed logins is one because it just refreshed uh, when we did the first uh, attempt to log in. And then in a short while you will see two, yeah, Vagrant. So we've got two failed logins user logins to login even so that's the login dashboard let's look at the users dashboard so we have 23 users and we can see one shadow password and password disabled so that's basically the vagrant user and the, all the others are disabled user account basically system user accounts and you have all these details here so these are the list of uh, users found on that machine Okay, so what else we can see? Processes. Uh, processes count, 59 processes. Uh, and then process names, process users. So as which user the processes are running. So sample dashboard for that as well. And then we can look at sockets. 21 sockets, 15 closed. And socket source IP, socket destination IP, destination ports, lots of information about sockets here and whether the socket is listening, inbound, outbound, the traffic type, traffic direction and everything, packages. Okay, so 322 packages and uh, we have all these information here. Okay, so what else we can do here? Hosts, uh, one host, okay, nothing much. Login, we tested the login with two failed login accounts. So as which user? So you can see here the Vagrant user had two failed login attempts. Logins, users, process, packages. Okay, so let's do one testing. If we try to install some package, let's say sudo yum install vim. Okay, why? Let's see if it triggers anything because it's going to pull lots of dependencies for Vim. Let's see uh, whether it shows up in the dashboard. So audit bit will be monitoring uh, the package installation. So we've installed lots of packages in this uh, command. And let's go ahead and verify that in the Kibana dashboard. And if I click refresh, package changes is zero refresh. Yep, so now you can see package changes. So 32 packages have been changed, whether uh, the packages have been removed, it can be removed, it can be installed or updated. And you can see the detailed logs here. So package installed. So these are the list of packages that we installed. Yep, so that's working fine. So that's the package uh, dashboard. What else can we see here? Sockets, overview, 
there should be one for file integrity processes socket dashboard system overview user okay um, summary of Linux kernel audit events yep it's here monitor file integrity let's see what dashboard we can see from here um, initial scan so it has scanned 1365 files created 28 mode 27 updated three files and you see all these details here okay let's do a quick testing so what I'm going to do is because you know vi etc audit beat audit beat dot yaml and under file integrity uh, these parts are being monitored for example slash etc if we try to create a file in slash etc we should be able to see that on our kibana dashboard let's do that sudo touch etc i am touching a file so just a random file uh, we've done that now we should be able to see that in the kibana dashboard refresh 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 let's see if it has ended up here yep there you go file.bath etc i am touching a file so that's the file we just created and the action is created so that is the file integrity monitoring say for example this file is very important file etc i am touching a file it's very important file and you want to monitor it so whenever uh, someone changes this file you will be able to see that in the kibana dashboard let's edit that file let's say echo hello to that file etc i am touching a file okay so we've updated uh, the i am touching a file and that should have triggered a log entry in our kibana dashboard sorry in the elastic search but we are seeing it through kibana okay let's refresh refresh and we should be able to see the changes here yep etc i'm touching a file updated um could not look at the index pattern field you should be able to see the graphs here as well but i'm not sure why it's not showing up but anyway so when you touch a file when you create a file or when you delete a file you will get an entry in this log which you can visualize okay and you can also filter it which type of files you want to see and all those details let's delete the file sudo r minus f etc i'm touching a file okay let's come and have a look at in the kibana dashboard and deleted etc i'm touching a file deleted cool so that's and you can see the deleted count is one so previously it was zero so now deleted count is one so these are the different uh dashboards that you can see go to dashboards and you can see all those uh different dashboards we were talking about uh in here so in order for this to work the main thing is in the audit audit b.yaml configuration file you need to enable the dashboard which we did here setup dot dashboards dot enabled to true so you need to set that to true in addition to that you also need to do sudo audit beat setup so only if you do that you will be able to see uh, the dashboards like what i showed uh, here and in the discover you can also create your own dashboards you don't have to uh, stick to the dashboards that uh, the default dashboards that that's been set up for you but you can also create your own dashboards you can create filters whatever you want you can do with it the log is in the elastic search and you can do whatever you want with the log whatever pattern you want to uh, search for you can make that as a dashboard whatever you want you can do all right so that is audit bait i'm going to leave it with you to play with so play with uh, the audit bait whatever option you want if you find something interesting please let me know in the comment section um, I don't want to drag the video by covering every single option or every single modules in the audit beat uh, software but this is just to give you a heads up or just to give you an idea of how to install configure and how it all works together so hopefully you understood something from this video and if you liked it please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions if you're following this video uh, exactly the same way as i uh, demonstrated here and if something is not working right for you, please leave me a comment. I should be able to get back at the earliest I can. All right. So thank you so much for your time watching this video. 
and I will see you all in my next video which is uh, the packet bait that will be another interesting one which we will see in the next week all right thank you bye bye